right now I'm going to be doing my turtle maintenance. This is in the middle of the winter. I'm going to be doing 80, 80 to 100% water change on all these tanks. I'm going to see if any of the filters need to be cleaned, any of the sponges need to be cleaned. Oh, and I'm going to be starting treatment on one of my uh, Mississippi maps. It has shell rot. And, but I'm not sure why. Uh, so let me get started with the water changes and checking each turtle. What hey, I'll do. everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics, too, so come along with me. It's Susie Q. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. And today it's time to check on the turtles. As you can see, I have two or three turtles all sharing 20 gallon longs each. I have several of them here. Um, I'm going to be changing the water, checking their shells. One of them I know has, I see some signs of shell rot. So I'll show you how I treat that. And, and we'll track the progress of that shell rot over the next few weeks. So right now, as you can see, they all have these basking stations above that fit perfectly on a 20 gallon long. They also fit very well on a 55 gallon. What these basking stations allow is for you to fill up all the way with water and utilize more of the tank. So I'll show you these yearlings. They're pretty small. Mr. and Mrs. Reeves. I've got my Diamondback Terrapin. I've got my Eastern Painted, Western Painted, my Yellow Belly Slider, uh, my Side Neck, my Pink Side Neck, Pink Belly side neck turtles in there and then here is I'm babysitting this baby terrapin so let's get started when I do water changes on the turtles I usually do about 70 to 80 percent water change so I'm going to make sure the heaters are off I'm going to keep the basking lights on because it's not going to dry up any water or cause any damage I have a zest filter in this tank I have a turtle filter back here and a sponge filter I have airstone and a turtle a small turtle filter in this tank one of my absolute favorite, the Reeves turtle. They're doing very well. They do like to bask. They just don't like me seeing them bask. All right, let me take a quick moment and we're going to talk about the carapace and the carapace scoots. Let's take a look. Here we go. So on both, whether it's a diamondback terrapin or the Reeves turtle, you can see they're very different shells, very different carapaces, but the outer scoots all, that go all around are still called the marginal scoots. The next layer in the scoots, these are the coastal scoots, and these are the vertebral scoots. And that top little one by the nape of the neck is the cervical scoot. Now underneath in the plastron, each one of these has its own name. I don't really want to butcher the name, so here they are. We have a whole lot of turtles out here. These were not medicated. These were just washed off. So as you can see, my western two western turtles have a little line through their top of their shell. This is my diamondback that I'm babysitting. This one is my diamondback. And these are my Reeves turtles. Very cute. These guys' shells, there's nothing wrong with any of their shells. So they just got a nice washing and inspection. I just checked everybody's shell. Let's look at where the other guys are holding. Okay, the first thing I want to do, if I see any kind of discoloration, I'm going to want to wash the shell. And I do see a little spot right there. And it could be dirt, but I'm going to wash it in a very, very mild soap, which for what I'm using is the Blue Dawn, just very mild. And I make sure I don't get any on the skin. I'm just washing off the shell, that's it. And this is not a bacteria killer, I'm just washing. He's got some scoots ready to shed. Hey baby, it's okay. And then I'm gonna rinse this off. And I'm gonna make sure I rinse it off in such a way it doesn't get on his eyes, okay? I'll be right back. So now I have rinsed them off. And what I'm going to do is dry them before I put on the iodine solution. So I'll let him walk around while I get a towel. And I don't think this, yep, this is definitely shell rot because it's 
discolored. Otherwise, it would have come right off with soap and water if it was just dried mud, which is a little concerning to me, but we're going to keep going. So when it's dried, i got to keep my eye on the, uh, the tank over there. I'm going to put a little bit of iodine, and this stuff is already at a 10% solution. Benadine works as well, but I'm using iodine. And what I'm going to do is just put a couple drops on it, move it around and let it dry. I'm going to put him in an area where it's dry and he can bask. I'm going to do this one hand. It's kind of hard. I'm just going to put one drop on. Make sure you know that you're not going to get more than one or two drops. I use my finger like you might want to put gloves on. And I want to make sure I'm getting it on the area. And I'm going to do this for a couple weeks. And you're going to watch the progress. You're going to be amazed. Now, scoot shedding is normal. I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about this discoloration. I'm going to make sure I treat it. While it's drying, I'm going to let him bask. So maybe you can get a good look without him biting me. He won't bite me. You see that? A little discoloration there, and that's the one that's concerning to me. And then there's just some normal scoot shedding, which is not a big deal. And here is my Mississippi map. See these two right here, discolored? What I'm going to do is I'm going to wash them off with the same process with the soap, rinse it, dry it, put the iodine on, and let them dry off. I so said the algae doesn't bother me. It's the lightening of colors here that bother me. His shell is still super hard, so there's nothing soft, but hopefully we'll be able to prevent anything. I'll probably do this every day for a week or two, for a couple weeks, and we'll see if it's hugely improved. If not, I'm taking them to the vet. Okay, so now I have the two westerns and the little tiny diamondback I'm babysitting. The male and female westerns, Sam and Kate. This one's Sam and this one's Kate. See how this, that came right off her shell? That was nothing. Their shells look amazing. Still gonna wash them. And when they, see how you can see this tail? That's Kate, and this one is Sam. You see it's long, so much longer. She won't show. He won't show us right now. But we are washing them off. Just a little bit of Dawn, a nice mild soap, good scrubbing. And now, what a beautiful, beautiful shell. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. But right now, just a little bit of maintenance. I'm certainly not going to put iodine or any kind of chemicals on these guys because there's nothing wrong with their shell. I'm just give them a little nice, quick little. He's a little boy. He's a little boy. He's a little boy. Sorry for the baby voice. I'm going to let these guys dry out a little bit, but I'm not going to put them in that big tank with those big turtles. They don't live with them. There's no reason for them to interact with them. I'm sure they'll be fine, but because they're just yearlings. But I'm not taking any chances with these babies. There you go. There we go. We're going to put these guys in here. And then we're going to let them go into the basking too. And now while I finish scrubbing, I'm going to fill up their tanks again. Here is... His beautiful pink belly. He is absolutely stunning. Look at that beautiful shell. You see it? So, let's see if I can find his toothbrush is yellow. All right, since I can't find his brush, he's getting a disposable brush. And I really like these because they're disposable. This way I can wash them off. Where is Pinky? There you go, baby. It's a nice mild soap. And it's, I like doing this because I get to examine each and every scoot. But the side neck is cleaned off and now we're going to go with our, this is uh, Ella. This is Ella, who I got as a pair, Sam and Ella. And I don't know what happened to Sam. 
I'm hoping it was not that stupid raccoon that turned all my plants upside down. Oh, see how there's a little discoloration there? There's a little discoloration right there. I'm going to treat that like it was the beginning of shell rot, even though I don't know as that is, but any kind of discoloration because I'm trying to do some maintenance. You know, the preventative is keeping clean water and giving them plenty of basking, but they're used to the outside. Oh, he's about to, his scoot's about to scoot. Look at that, his scoot's about to scoot. I'm not going to help because I don't know if it's painful, but I am washing it. He had some dirt on him that you can see it scrubbed right off. It's probably substrate and I got to rinse off the soap. Okay, this one is my Eastern Musk Turtle. Has not musked me yet. A little female, look at that, a little female musk. Very cute, very adorable. Isn't going to get much larger than four inches. Java moss on her, but she doesn't bask, so her shell looks amazing. I'm going to put her back in. So here's after a full water change. This is a 20 gallon. And keep in mind that these tanks are only their winter homes. They don't, they don't stay in here. They're out in 100 gallon tubs outside. So this one's filled to the brim because after I put the lid on, they can bask up there with the UVB and the basking light. The same with this one. This one has the above basking area. So for my other larger baskers are gonna go in here. This one has basking area set up. But my musk turtle doesn't really bask and neither does my side neck but they have the capability to bask if they want to and then this tank I'm getting some water out of it this is going to be for the hatchlings where they will bask all the time you can see these guys have medicine and we're going to track their progress of cleaning up their shells so maybe I'll take some pictures so I can do comparisons Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to document the progress of the iodine treatment. I'm going to take pictures of each one of them. Today's day one. There we go. So if you're interested in seeing the progress of the iodine solution treatment to my turtle's shells, stay tuned. I'm going to put that link up above as soon as I do it. I'll probably take pictures every day. For a couple weeks to see the progress and what the um, improvements are. So thanks for coming along and checking out my turtle maintenance and giving me a little chance of showing off some of my turtles. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time. Hey everybody it's Susie Q and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics too. So come along with me, it's Suzy Q. Hey everybody, it's Suzy Q and I'm here to show you just what I do. I got a passion for fish and exotics too. So come along with me, it's Suzy Q. Hey everybody, it's Suzy Q and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics too. So come along with me, it's Suzy Q. Hey, everybody, it's Suzy Q. Hey, everybody, it's Suzy Q. Na na, hey, everybody, it's Suzy Q. So come along with me. Said I'm Suzy Q.